Alright everyone, welcome back to our series on Ion Life. This is part 12 now. Um... We so gotta... what's next? You turn in the bounty somewhere? Go do that, we can wrap this up. Oh yeah, yeah, thank you for reminding me. But anyways, yes, that's what we gotta do. We killed, uh... What was his name? What's up? Oh. Were we too fast for you? <laughs> Wait, let's see. Oh, there's an item box in there. Let's see, I know there's something in there. Boop. Farting Fridley? Just a guy who farts nothing too special, not even that funny, but yeah, he absolutely does just fart all the time, constantly. He does it on purpose, too. He pushes him out even when he doesn't gotta do it. He's sick in the head. <sighs> okay, then. Oh, I almost killed myself. Alright, let's go. Now we can go turn in our bounty. God, I can't remember what that dude's name was. Hey, kid. Another one down, huh? Great work. <laughs> but, uh, hey, there's something you should see. Something Take I should see? After you turn in your bounty. Okay. Yeah, let me go turn it. He is a huge comic person. Hey, whoa! Douglas. That's what it was. Yeah, give me that bounty. Good. Get over here. When are you telling me get over here? Alright. Check this out. Blim City what? Citizens. That's Clug Nugman, Blim City Magistrate. As you all know, I'm working hard to flush out all the crime and drugs from our streets. I'll be the first to admit, we haven't made much headway in the fight against the G3 cartel. All right, all right. Now, all right. this next bit. All about to change. We've learned of a bold bounty hunter who's been bravely taking this G3 matter into their own hands. You hear that? Ah, uh, they talking about me? Yeah, you. Can okay, I sit down? Yeah, you got lucky. I am not too proud to ask for help in our war on drugs. Bounty it's hunter, good to know. if you're listening, please consider joining forces with the good people of Blim City. I hope you'll choose to come forward and meet with me personally at my office in City Hall. Yeesh, desperate much? Can you even <laughs> help us? I already told him you go. Oh, great. What? No, don't start. Trust me, he's legit. This guy's been anti-G3 since before any of you were even in diapers. Honestly, I don't know if Gatlin's even wear diapers. Head through there. Clug's expecting you. All right, let's go. Go talk to this weirdo. What's his name, Glug? We're like a minion rejects. What's up, Thank my boy? Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. It wasn't really our idea, but hey. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You <laughs> survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Uh, no. We're Gatlians. Unless you're talking about my personal chauffeur. Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces, but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? Yeah, I'm sure the big hotshot politician wants blood on his hands. That's precisely <laughs> why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, Gary. or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed. I don't I know. I, I, I wouldn't poison street lamps. But you... You've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me, but there's also one way I can help you. Oh, oh yeah, what's that? And how's that? This I just said on that. My desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. Can we trust you? Well, I mean, I guess we ain't really got much of a choice. Let's do it. Human rescue device. Press blank to view. Chug gave you this wonderful advice to help you, or to help rescue humans and send them to safety. Uh, it's helpful because otherwise you'd have to take care of a lot of humans. You don't really have time for that, you know. Understandable. What's the catch? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems. Assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. Yeah, no shit, like we're gonna stop now. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. 
This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We just all right, we got this. Freaks. If you want to help, you're more than welcome. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, this is your office, huh? You got anything good in here? You got a blue tree? For some reason, I immediately thought of the, the red herb from Resident Evil. Like, ah, uh, whoa, wait a minute, uh, what is that? Feel free to stay as long as you like. Alright. I mean, you did just tell me that. Is that like a hint for me to leave? Creepy looking dude. You can visit the human haven yourself, by the way. We don't know exactly what makes humans comfortable, but I hope you like how we've set things up. Oh, okay. What the heck is this? What is that? I don't know. Alright, let's go back home. Yo! So <laughs> It went well, huh? I got a yeah, message saying the they'll most hook part. us up with any G3 intel they find. Yep, and he even gave us this weird thing we could save humans with. God damn, you got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. Really jetpack? Hell yeah, 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 yeah. Go to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. All right, cool. Yeah, you might want to hit up Bordeaux's chef stand, too. It's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling are be pretty helpful. All right, I want a jetpack. We're, we're on a mission to get a jetpack. Let's go. Uh, what's a Bordo? Bro, why do you keep ticketing my house? I'm not killing them. Well, he's ticketing me. George, hello again, value customer. We've got some new items in stock over at Mr. Keep's Pawn Shop. Oh, wait, I, let me go talk to... Oh, he's still doing his drum thing. Okay. Hey. Oh, crap. Oh. You over there, come over here. I've Me? got some food for ya. Yeah, that's you got food? right. Food. I said food. Hey, welcome to Blordo's. I'm Blordo. You here for the food? Or the other stuff? <laughs> what, what do you mean, other stuff? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Forget I said anything. <laughs> no, come on. We're, we're good. T tell us. Oh, fine. I sell secret shit if you know what to ask for. But don't tell the cops. Now, I want some something. secret stuff. Leave. Alright, uh, cute. QD Town Warp Disc is free. Movie Theater Warp Disc. Alright, let's get this one. Let's get you fed, shall we? Um, Alright, I got six of those points. So I can get a movie theater. Trolley track. Warp disc can turn into a warp. Which reminds me of a thought experiment. Toilet warp disc? Okay, we we gotta go with the toilet one. Let's let's see what that like does. Where your at. Good day right, to you, good. food customer. Food customer. Okay. All right, let's go up to the pawn shop and see if we can get our jetpack. Uh, pawn shop should be up here, I think, if I can remember correctly. And I actually made that jump. Every time I've tried to use the bug, I miss. Are you still gonna be hey, a jerk? Jetpacks in stock? A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help. What's convenient is just chilling on the desk, right? 990. Oh, I got the money for it too. Hells yeah, let's uh, do it. A jetpack, huh? Great choice. Reservation really card. Hold up. Choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Okay, great. So where, where's, where's my jetpack? Jet pack? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days. I promise. Couple of days. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Fuck! God damn it. Okay, well let's let's just give Gene the update. Well, ain't that some crap? Take your time browsing our wares, but don't take too long. You are on camera. Do a flip. Okay. Ugh. Well, it wasn't exactly a flip, but. Treat that purchase like it's Christine Aguilera. Christine Aguilera. What? Alright, let's go back to the house. Ooh, I got that. Hey, it's me, Blurdo. If you're ever hungry, just swing by and purchase some completely normal burgers from. Come over here right now. Sorry for yelling. 
and calling you an asshole, but I need you to come over here right now and buy my illegal shit. What's that guy yelling Excuse about? Excuse me? Illegal stuff? I is he talking to us? What you got? And you gonna win the start me the goop? Kids, what's up? My name's Stan, and I sell vials of alien cum. I know that's probably Wait, not what? what you wanted to hear when you walked over here. You want it cum or what? Um, uh, do we look Did like? Did we look like people that would want to buy alien cum? Sure. Look, I have absolutely no idea. I'm shocked to my core every time somebody buys literally truckloads of alien cum for me. But they do it all the time. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I've been completely Why? it down to a set of demographics. Grannies, cops, movie stars, politicians. Everybody likes my delicious alien cum. Oh, jeez. Every type of weirdo coming up here saying, I like 600 gallons of your absolute highest quality alien cum. And, and, and I say, does it matter which aliens the cum come from? And they say, no, sir, it truly does not. I just want some alien cum. No further details. What you got to say about this, guys? So, what? what? Whoa, hey, hey, hey. You want some alien cum or not? You sell alien cum? Why the fuck do you do that, man? I know it's gross, but calm down. My name is Stan, and I sell horrendous amounts of all sorts of alien cum. And we're just gonna have to live with that knowledge together now. No. Okay, how's business? So, you really got a lot of people looking to buy alien cum, huh? I consider it <laughs> policy not to ask my clients why they want the gallons and gallons of alien cum they buy from me. I figure the less questions I ask about what people are doing with all this alien cum, the better. So, are you got a point. or nay? Alright, fine. I don't know what... I... Ugh, uh, okay. Look, I can't believe we're doing this, but let's have some cum. Whoa, -ha -ha, look at you. You want some alien cum. I'm so glad you're interested. Look, you caught me on a good day. I'm doing a promo one time off of free alien cum. Take some on the house, and if you like it, just come back and get some more. Just tell all your friends about Gallon. me. Gallon. Intentionally purpose. It's heavier than you think. You gotta carry it around everywhere. Ooh, what? That sucks. Hey, Stan has the absolute best alien cum I've ever seen, tasted, touched, whatever. Whoa, hey, I'm hey, hey. Sure if it's his or if he's getting it from some other alien, but I'm just such a huge fan of his work and what he's doing out there on the streets of Flam City selling alien cum to the community. Say all of that. Ah, looking for more alien cum, are you? Well, no. I'm sorry. I'm fresh out of alien cum right now. We sell out early sometimes. I gotta go restock my supply, and that's not so easy, trust me. But give me a little bit, and I have plenty more. I promise. I just, I just need some recovery time. Whoa, hey, hey, okay. We're, we're done with that conversation. Oh, uh, that's uh, a few minutes of my life I'll never get back. Wow. Of all the things that, wow, I don't even know where to go from this. Let's hope this isn't as weird. That's all I can say. All right. How'd it go? Did you get a jetpack? Kind of. That cheapskate mister keeps making us wait till he gets it in stock. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? When he's right, he's right. Let's get a cat nap in. Really? Explore then get some rest in your bed. Um... This is your bedroom? Okay. But what you laughing at? Don't don't be hating. I don't know what you... Hey, good night, partner. I'm Whoa. just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry, I'm, I, I, I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up. L let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all the space. You're not sorry, shutting you're up. Being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep. Thank you. Club's day. Holy crap, it's Florb's day already. Wibs Day, my favorite. Whoa. What? <gasps> we got it? 
All right, partner. Let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Uh, what gap? Oh, it wants to go over there. Okay. Um, oh, hold A to fly. Holy shit! This rules. <gasps> oh, check oh, out that land. that's cool. Oh. I love you too. I love you so much. Wait, I'm proud tap. of you. You did a good job at baseball. Thank you. Thank you so much. I um, you know, I've just been waiting a long time. What the hell's happening? Words from you. You're not really my dad, are you? You don't. You don't sound like my dad. I was playing along for a second. But you know. Damn, you're just like a TonyHawk.com jetpack pro. Tony Hawk. Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You could fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. All right, let's go. Um, head inside the house. Okay, wait. Am I? I'm still in my house. Hover mode. Ah. All right, Gene. Before Tweet gets What's here. the rush? I don't want to miss anything. Uh, so before you interrupted me. Got a big date with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? <laughs> Fuck Flimborg. off, Gene. Like you've even never been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fucked more aliens than your brain can comprehend. And even well, I don't want to touch your boyfriend. I'm so sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot though, right? <laughs> I ain't never even met him. Oh, come on. You haven't even seen him. Why'd you answer that? Trust me, you don't have to support her just because she's family. This guy's a loser. He is so hot. He's like a low seven or a high six. And he's really nice to me. Yeah, no ulterior motives there. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus. Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great. <laughs> Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed a up point. degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No. <laughs> uh, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. I mean, it Excuse seems like he's just trying. Me? No, sorry, but I am not about to let this fuck-up degenerate school me on life decisions. The fact that I'm a fuck-up degenerate is exactly why you shouldn't let me school you on life decisions. I, I know better than anyone what not to do. You're both assholes. Yeah? Well, you're gonna get this tweed guy pregnant, and then I'll be here to tell you what? I told you so. Then who's Wait, I don't think that's... All your mutant kids um... running around this house. Me! Yeah, not that it matters, but I'm the one who would get pregnant. Not the way his species works. They get pregnant real easy. I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Twig to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady <coughs> job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off. Oh, that's comforting. Just grow up and get used to me and Twig. Come on, tell Jean I can date whoever I want. Yeah. Thank you. Not that I needed your approval. Oh, fuck. Well, what'd yeah. you ask? Came up against the depressed paraplegic. I didn't know you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Har, har, har. Just clean up, Gene. Okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. Yeah, you know, I appreciate you having my back, but uh, maybe your sister's right. Or not. What do I care? Team <laughs> baby! 
<laughs> All right, well, we're going to go ahead and end this, and I will see everyone in the next episode. I'm broke as crap.